guys, Ralph here, Truth Power Trumpet Fitness, and welcome to Terrific Tuesday. Last day of the week for videos. Uh, I'm off to the Wild Blue Yonder. I'll explain that in a second. Um, yeah, you saw the thumbnail. God's lower lip. <laughs> we had Docs. We had Allison Balsam. We might as well do God while we're at it, right? <laughs> All in good fun. Anyway, I played a little bit. Let's see what we got. Anyway, amazing double C's and Respigi, the offstage solo to the Pines of Rome. I love that piece. I love the entire piece, but I love that solo. Of all the wonderful, wonderful renditions of that solo that are on the internet, that are on recordings with orchestras, whatever, I'm going with Vacchiano and Bernstein, the New York Philharmonic. Call me a little biased, but oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Anyway, God's lower lip. <laughs> anyway, the reason I say God is because of that iconic picture that you have of Doc playing with Herseth and Cataravic. His caption was, I heard him say once, that picture, yeah, I knew I was in heaven because I was playing with God. <laughs> anyway, all you young guys that are not privy to Herseth, guys, you have to. You have to. If you're going to call yourself a trumpet player, you have to make yourself available to all those recordings, and there are lots of them. There's lots of them playing the promenade to pictures at an exhibition. There's lots of them knocking the walls down with Great Gate of Kiev. His Opening to Mahler Fifth, there's lots of them. There is an absolutely tremendous uh, video on uh, YouTube of the entire Chicago Symphony brass section and friends playing Gabrielli. And you listen to that so tone that he gets. And there are people like Phil Smith in there and, and uh, all augmented along, and he wipes them out, and he's in his 80s. His tone, power, range, and endurance is extraordinary. Now, guys, taking nothing away from anybody who's playing now, but there's nobody close. Kaimar was the one that was closest, and that was of that generation. Broyles was close. John Ware was close. Katarabic was close. These guys are not close. And here's the deal. You ask any of them. Don't come back and yell at me. You ask any of them. Rolfs, Chris Martin, Hooten, uh, Michael Sachs, you ask any of them if they could hold a candle to Bud Herseth. Each one of them, no. Guys, he was that great. Not saying that those guys are not excellent in their own way. That's not what I'm saying, so don't come back at me. He was that great. Now, the reason we're doing that was we're going to look at his bottom lip. Okay? Now, take a look at this. Look at how thick that is. 
Look at how thick the top lip is. There is his tone, power, range, and endurance. And you compare it to Maurice, and you've got it. Now, there's also plenty of him, plenty of things of him on the internet. Spit buzzing, mouthpiece buzzing. Now, of all the players that I've uh, interviewed, that I've studied and everything, he's one of my idols, and he is the one that I'm not for sure. It hasn't come out of his mouth that he spit buzz and, and tongues through the teeth. But guys, you listen to the compression, that's where it is. That's where it is. And the thing about it is, the thing that he is so revered among all trumpet players, yet none of them sound like him. Because they're going about it the wrong way. Now, even though he taught, he taught and produced some terrific players, whatever, is great along the lines of Mel Broyles, he could not articulate, or I never heard him articulate. If anybody studied with him, did he talk about chops? It didn't seem like he knew what was going on with his tongue. But that is sublime. Now, like Allison Balsam, like Doc, if that bottom lip is tight, guys, you're not going to have the complete purity of tone. You're not, you're not going to get the full resonance and the full vibration that you're getting on the top lip if the bottom lip is stretched out. Now, there's lots of guys that have what look to be very thick top lips, but the bottom lip is stretched out. Perfect example. There have been lots since Jerry's death, lots of that uh, video that we did back in 1987. And you go back and look at it if you want. And at that point... I was playing full-time. I was doing beautifully in my career. Um, but you look, and I could touch double Cs. My F and G were, were my note, my go-to note at the time, and I, which was plenty. But I could get myself up to double Cs. But you look at the top lip, and, that, and you look at my bottom lip, is all stretched out. It wasn't until over the years I went from here to here. Everything that I've talked about with Doc, and for some reason, he had it since day one. Herseth had it since day one. Now, I will say, and there's no reason for him to have it, but he didn't quite have the virtuosity of Maurice. But he had the chops, man. He had the chops. It was just beautiful. I'll never forget it. I was coming back. I was out in uh, Washington. Um... Yeah, I was out in Washington uh, watching my daughter do a uh, national championship for synchronized swimming. She killed it. <laughs> she was amazing. But anyway, I'm coming back on the airplane, and sure enough, I got the headphone on, and there is a Brandenburg going on. What? I'm looking all over the place to try to find, and it is beautiful. It is absolutely effortless and beautiful, and the articulations of it is gorgeous, but a big, rich, resonant tone, not this tiny little, just a beautiful, resonant tone, and it wasn't until they got all done, it was a radio thing, whatever, until the DJ came on and says, yes, that was um, Adolf Bud Herseth, and the, uh, it was beautiful, and if you can find that on internet, listen to it, listen to it for sure, but the Gabrielli, it will show you, and again, the beauty of the Gabrielli is, even though that he's like minutes away from retirement, okay, compared to these other great players. Now, the Chicago Symphony, the, the, se the section itself was a little watered down compared to Cabaret and all the, 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 the heyday. But it was augmented by Phil Smith and, and all these other men. And you can hear it. The minute he plays, his tone rings. It's just relaxed. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at the chumps. Taking into consideration the genetic teeth, jaw, lip formation, and everything. There's going to be a difference from place, but look at those two. They're almost identical. Identical. Anyway, I heard him live many times. Carnegie Hall, Don Juan. Oh, yeah, I, I get chills just listening to it. And it wasn't just him. 
it was Arnold Jacobs and the entire and the entire crew, which was just absolutely amazing. Anyway, that's that. I will see you on Monday. I will have not have played for six days. Hopefully, I can keep the chops out of the sun so they're not all burnt and see what happens. We've done this before, three years. You know it's going to happen. It's going to be fine. But uh, we'll do it again anyway. So I will have my laptop. So I am selling mouthpieces. Sold a couple today already. Uh, you do get it from www.tpwr.org. Or you can just email me and PayPal me the money just like you do with the books. The uh, Where did the Allison Balsam book go? Here it is. This book is selling like hotcakes. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. And it discusses her bottom lip. Anyway. That's that. Have a great rest of the week, and we'll talk on Monday. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables. Love you all.